Welcome to Propaganda Detox, where we expose the hidden truths in modern media. If you find our content valuable, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. In George Orwell's 1984, the memory hole is a tool of oppression. This shoot in the Ministry of Truth swallows inconvenient truths and unwanted facts. Documents, photographs and dissenting scraps vanish into the Ministry's labyrinth. Each discarded piece rewrites the past to fit the party's narrative. Orwell's vision of a society on the brink of amnesia seems like fiction, but in the 21st century, do memory holes exist in our information landscape? Memory holes transcend Orwell's fiction, reflecting our tendency to control information. Throughout history, those in power have shaped narratives to serve their interests. Book burnings, monument destruction and silencing dissent are historical memory holes. These acts erase the past to maintain the dominant paradigm. In the digital age, memory holes are more insidious. They target specific information with little fanfare. The internet, despite its potential, is fertile ground for information manipulation. News articles vanish, URLs lead to dead ends, social media posts disappear without a trace, search results are manipulated, burying inconvenient truths. Tools meant to empower us with knowledge now control information. They shape our perceptions and understanding of the world. Digital manipulation distorts our understanding of the past. It undermines trust in institutions and erodes public discourse. Imagine a world where historical atrocities are erased and dissenting voices silenced. This is the danger of unchecked memory holes. Critical thinking becomes impossible with compromised information. We become vulnerable to manipulation by those controlling information. Our ability to hold power accountable and learn from the past is hampered. The stakes are high, we must understand memory holes and recognize their presence in our digital lives. This is essential to safeguard our information ecosystem. It preserves the foundations of a free and informed society. Beyond the shoot subtlety and deception in modern memory holes. Information manipulation is not confined to dystopian fiction. Modern memory holes operate subtly, shaping perceptions and beliefs. The digital age has brought unprecedented information control. The internet, once democratizing, is now a battleground for narratives. Modern memory holes are algorithms, editorial decisions and crafted narratives. They alter information landscapes to favor certain viewpoints. These memory holes permeate every aspect of our digital lives. We are bombarded with curated information reinforcing biases. This shapes our understanding of the world. The illusion of objectivity, how media outlets shape narratives. Journalism should provide objective, fact-based reporting. However, media outlets operate within complex influences. Corporate ownership and ideological agendas shape information presentation. News gathering is inherently subjective. Journalists make choices about stories, sources and perspectives. These choices shape the narrative presented to the public. The pressure for clicks and revenue often leads to sensationalism. Stories are reported before all facts are known. Corrections rarely receive the same attention as initial reports. This creates a fragmented media landscape, reinforcing biases. The power of omission. What's left unsaid speaks volumes. Modern memory holes lie in subtlety. It is about what is left unsaid, omitted or downplayed. Historical events are often framed selectively. Certain narratives are privileged, others minimized or erased. This shapes our understanding of the past and present. Omission of context can be as damaging as falsehood. News stories lacking historical background create distorted realities. Omitting dissenting voices creates the illusion of consensus. This shapes public opinion on complex issues. History revisited when the past is present. Manipulating history has real-world consequences. Rewriting the past makes us lose sight of lessons learned. We risk repeating past mistakes. Confederate monuments in the US symbolize white supremacy. Understanding their historical context is essential. They are not benign relics, but symbols of oppression. Erasing history robs us of collective memory. It undermines our ability to learn from the past. We must hold power accountable. This helps build a more just and equitable future. The curated narrative selective reporting in the digital age 
Information abundance creates challenges of selective reporting. News organizations rely on a few wire services. This creates homogenized news coverage. Algorithms shape the information we encounter online. They prioritize content aligning with our biases. This creates echo chambers, limiting exposure to dissenting views. The result is a curated narrative reflecting media and algorithm biases. This distorts our understanding of the world. It reinforces prejudices and hinders meaningful dialogue. Rewriting history in real-time content revision and the illusion of truth. Online content can be easily altered or deleted. News organizations revise articles without formal retractions. This creates confusion and distrust. Social media platforms remove flagged posts. This erases them from the digital record. Revising or removing content affects our understanding of the past. Truth becomes elusive and the historical record is in flux. It becomes difficult to separate fact from fiction. Section 3. The Echo Chamber Effect. How Algorithms Shape Our Perceptions. The Internet, once hailed as a democratizing force that would connect people from all walks of life and expose them to a diversity of viewpoints, has in many ways fallen short of this utopian vision. Instead of fostering open dialogue and critical thinking, the online world has, in many cases, become a breeding ground for echo chambers, where individuals are primarily exposed to information that confirms their existing biases. This phenomenon is driven in large part by the algorithms that power social media feeds and search engine results. These algorithms, designed to maximize engagement and keep users glued to their screens, prioritize content that aligns with an individual's past behavior, preferences, and social connections. The result is a self-reinforcing cycle of confirmation bias where individuals are increasingly isolated from dissenting viewpoints and challenging perspectives. This creates an environment where misinformation and propaganda can flourish as individuals are less likely to encounter information that contradicts their existing beliefs. The echo chamber effect has profound implications for our ability to engage in meaningful dialogue across ideological divides. When we are constantly bombarded with information that reinforces our existing worldview, it becomes increasingly difficult to understand and empathize with those who hold different perspectives. Section 4. Manufacturing Consent. The Role of Public Relations in Shaping Memory. In his seminal work, Noam Chomsky and Edward S. Herman argue that the mass media serve as a powerful tool for shaping public opinion and manufacturing consent for government policies and corporate agendas. They posit that media outlets, far from being objective arbiters of truth, operate within a system of structural constraints and incentives that ultimately serve the interests of the powerful. One of the key ways in which the media manufacture consent is through the selective framing of issues. By highlighting certain aspects of a story while downplaying or ignoring others, media outlets can shape public perception and influence the way in which events are understood public relations firms and spin doctors play a crucial role in this process, working behind the scenes to shape the narrative and ensure that their clients' interests are represented in a favorable light. They craft press releases, arrange interviews, and engage in a variety of other activities designed to manipulate public opinion. The result is a media landscape where the interests of the powerful are often privileged over the needs of the many. Issues that threaten the status quo are often ignored or marginalized, while those that align with the interests of corporations and governments receive extensive coverage. The illusion of choice, consumerism, and the commodification of information. In the digital age, we are constantly bombarded with messages urging us to consume, to acquire, to define ourselves through our purchases. This consumerist ethos has permeated every aspect of our lives, including the way in which we consume information. News organizations facing shrinking advertising revenues and increasing competition for eyeballs are increasingly reliant on sensationalism, clickbait headlines, and other tactics designed to grab our attention and keep us engaged. This has led to a decline in the quality of journalism as news outlets prioritize profit over substance. Social media platforms too have become marketplaces where our attention is the commodity being bought and sold. Algorithms track our every move analyzing our likes, shares, and comments to deliver targeted advertising and content designed to keep us engaged and coming back for more. This commodification of information has profound implications for the way in which we understand the world. When news becomes entertainment and our attention is for sale to the highest bidder, it becomes increasingly difficult to discern fact from fiction to separate truth from spin. 
The Perils of Historical Amnesia When context vanishes, so does understanding. Imagine trying to solve a complex puzzle with half the pieces missing. This is the danger of historical amnesia. History is the story of us, shaped by the triumphs and failures of those before us. Consider the ongoing debates surrounding immigration, globalization, and national identity. Without historical context, we become vulnerable to simplistic narratives and easy answers, silencing dissent how memory holes stifle critical thinking and debate. A healthy society thrives on the free exchange of ideas and rigorous debate. Memory holes pose a grave threat to this. They silence dissent and create an illusion of consensus. Those in power control the narrative to shape perceptions. Whoever controls the past controls the present and future. Memory holes erase dissenting voices, creating a sanitized reality. In the digital age, this takes on new forms. Social media platforms become battlegrounds for information warfare. Algorithms can suppress certain viewpoints and amplify others. Search engine results can bury inconvenient truths. Tools meant to empower us can control what we see and believe. The consequences are profound. When dissenting voices are erased, we lose the ability to think critically. We become intellectually stagnant, trapped in echo chambers. Our beliefs are constantly reinforced, but never challenged. The manufactured consensus. When opposing voices are erased, illusion reigns. Imagine a town hall meeting where only one microphone works, where only a select few are allowed to speak. Their voice is amplified, while others are relegated to hushed whispers in the back of the room. This is the essence of the manufactured consensus, a carefully curated illusion of agreement that masks the true diversity of thought and opinion. Memory holes play a crucial role in creating this illusion. By erasing dissenting voices, by suppressing alternative perspectives, those in power can create the impression that their viewpoint is universally accepted, even when it is not. The absence of opposition becomes in itself a form of validation, a tacit endorsement of the status quo. This manufactured consensus is particularly dangerous because it can lead to a stifling of debate and a reluctance to challenge authority. When we are constantly bombarded with the message that everyone agrees that there is no alternative, it can be tempting to simply go along with the crowd to silence our own doubts and conform to the prevailing orthodoxy. This is precisely the danger that memory holes pose to a free and open society. They create an environment where critical thinking is stifled, where conformity is rewarded, and where the status quo, however unjust or unsustainable, is allowed to persist unchallenged. Reclaiming our narrative, the importance of historical awareness and critical media literacy. In the face of manipulation, it can be tempting to succumb to cynicism. However, to give in is to concede defeat. We must rise to the challenge with critical thinking, historical awareness and media literacy. Reclaiming our narrative begins with understanding manipulation and recognizing memory holes. We must become discerning consumers of information, questioning everything, cultivate a deep appreciation for history as an ongoing dialogue. By understanding the past, we gain insights into current challenges. Reclaiming our narrative is about honest examination of history. Learn from the past to build a better present and future. Building a better memory. Preserving the past, informing the future. The fight against memory holes is not merely a defensive battle. It is also an opportunity to build a better memory, a more inclusive and nuanced understanding of the past. This requires a collective effort from individuals, institutions and society. Libraries, archives and museums play a vital role serving as repositories of knowledge. They provide access to primary sources and preserve fragile documents. However, these institutions cannot do it alone. They require adequate funding and public support. In the digital age, we can democratize access to information. Online archives and digital libraries offer new possibilities for preserving the past. Ultimately, the fight against memory holes is a fight for truth and justice. It requires vigilance, critical thinking, and challenging those who seek to control the narrative. By embracing the complexities of the past, we can build a better memory that informs the present and guides our future. Digital vanishing acts how information disappears in the online world. In the physical world, destruction leaves a trace, ashes, shreds, empty spaces. The digital realm offers a cleaner form of erasure. Websites go dark, posts vanish, and search results lead to dead ends. This is often deliberate, a move to scrub pasts or control narratives. Documents, photos and articles disappear, leaving voids where truth once was. 
The algorithm knows personalized censorship and the filter bubble. Imagine walking into a library where the bookshelves rearrange themselves as you browse, hiding volumes deemed irrelevant or dangerous to your worldview. This is the essence of the filter bubble, a phenomenon made possible by the algorithms that increasingly govern our online experiences. Search engines, social media platforms, and even online retailers collect vast amounts of data about our browsing habits, preferences, and social connections. This data is then fed into complex algorithms that determine what we see, hear, and believe, creating a personalized echo chamber tailored to our existing biases. While advocates argue that these algorithms enhance user experience by delivering relevant content, the dark side of this personalization is censorship by omission. By filtering out dissenting viewpoints, challenging perspectives and information that contradicts our existing beliefs, these algorithms create a distorted and incomplete picture of reality. This personalized censorship is particularly insidious because it is often invisible. Unlike traditional forms of censorship, where the act of suppression is overt and often contested, algorithmic filtering operates subtly, shaping our perceptions without us even realizing we are being manipulated. We become comfortable in our echo chambers, surrounded by information that confirms our biases, unaware of the vast landscape of knowledge and perspectives that lie beyond the filter bubble. The ephemeral internet. When nothing is permanent, everything is forgettable. The internet, once envisioned as a permanent record of human knowledge and experience, has ironically become a breeding ground for forgetfulness. The very nature of digital information, easily copied, shared and altered, makes it both powerful and vulnerable. Social media platforms, with their emphasis on real-time updates and ephemeral content, epitomize this culture of disposability. Tweets vanish into the ether after a few hours, Snapchat messages self-destruct and Instagram stories disappear after 24 hours, creating a sense of urgency and immediacy that discourages reflection and historical preservation. This ephemeral nature of online content has profound implications for our collective memory. When information is designed to be fleeting, it becomes difficult to hold on to, to contextualize or to learn from. The past becomes a blur of fleeting moments easily forgotten and even more easily rewritten. Furthermore, the constant deluge of information online contributes to a sense of information overload, making it difficult to discern what is important, what is credible and what is worth remembering. We skim headlines, scroll through feeds and flit from one piece of content to the next, rarely pausing to engage deeply or to consider the long-term implications of what we consume. Fighting back against digital amnesia, archiving, preserving and making connections. Combating the digital forces of forgetting requires a multi-pronged approach, a combination of technological innovation, institutional support, and individual responsibility. We must become digital archivists, actively preserving the past and making connections across time and platforms to ensure that the information landscape of tomorrow is not a barren wasteland of forgotten truths. Institutions like the Internet Archive and the Wayback Machine are leading the charge in digital preservation, creating vast repositories of websites, documents and multimedia content, capturing snapshots of the internet as it evolves. These digital archives provide invaluable resources for researchers, historians and anyone seeking to understand the evolution of the online world. Individuals too can play a role in combating digital amnesia. By saving important documents, taking screenshots of ephemeral content and using hashtags and metadata to create connections between disparate pieces of information, we can create a more robust and accessible digital archive. Furthermore, we must become more critical consumers of information, questioning the sources we rely on, seeking out diverse perspectives and being wary of information bubbles that reinforce our existing biases. By engaging actively and thoughtfully, with the information we encounter online, we can help create a more informed and discerning public, less susceptible to the manipulations of memory holes and algorithmic censorship. The power of independent media. Challenging the mainstream narrative. As traditional media outlets struggle to adapt to the digital age, often resorting to clickbait headlines and sensationalism to compete for attention, Independent media organizations have emerged as vital sources of in-depth reporting, critical analysis and alternative perspectives. Freed from the constraints of corporate ownership and beholden only to their readers and viewers, independent journalists and bloggers often have the freedom to pursue stories that mainstream media outlets ignore, to challenge official narratives, 
and to hold power to account. The rise of crowdfunding platforms and online subscription services has provided independent media outlets with new avenues for financial support, allowing them to produce high-quality journalism without compromising their editorial independence. By supporting independent media, by sharing their work and by engaging in critical dialogue with the information they produce, we can help create a more diverse and vibrant media landscape, one less susceptible to the manipulations of memory holes and more reflective of the complexities of our world. The future of memory. Navigating the information landscape of tomorrow. The battle over memory continues in the digital realm, where new technologies emerge and old ones fade. We must cultivate critical awareness of the forces shaping our perceptions. AI and machine learning can both exacerbate and alleviate memory challenges. AI could create sophisticated forms of censorship or develop tools for digital preservation and misinformation detection. Imagine AI assistants fact-checking news in real time. Digital archives flagging inconsistencies in historical records. Individuals tracing information origins and exposing manipulation. The future of memory is shaped by our choices today. The fragility of truth in the digital age. Truth, once etched in ink and stone, now flickers precariously in the digital ether. Tools that promise to democratize information have become instruments of manipulation. Memory holes shape our perceptions, influencing our beliefs. The digital age has created a new set of challenges. We are bombarded with news, opinions and data, reinforcing biases. The volume of information makes it difficult to discern credible sources. In this chaotic landscape, memory holes thrive. They target specific information with precision. News articles vanish, URLs lead to dead ends, social media posts disappear without a trace. Search results are manipulated, burying inconvenient truths. The consequences are profound. Selective erasure distorts our understanding of the past. It undermines trust in institutions and erodes public discourse. We become trapped in echo chambers, shaped by algorithms. Guarding against amnesia, a call to action. The challenges we face in this digital age of memory manipulation are significant, but they are not insurmountable. The fight against forgetting is a fight we can win, but it requires a collective effort. We must become more discerning consumers of information, questioning sources and developing critical thinking skills. We must be wary of information bubbles and seek out alternative viewpoints, support institutions preserving our shared history and combating misinformation. Libraries, archives, museums and independent media outlets play a vital role. A future remembered towards a more informed and resilient tomorrow. The future of memory is not predetermined. It will be shaped by the choices we make today. If we allow apathy to prevail, we risk a future where truth is elusive. However, if we engage critically with information and support truth-seeking institutions, we can create a future where memory is cherished. Let us be the generation that reclaims our narrative and builds a future where truth and memory serve as the foundation for a more just, equitable and enlightened world Thank you for watching Propaganda Detox. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Together, let's continue to seek the truth and build a more informed world.